At the end of the Second World War, on the 10th of May 1945, a number of Germans were lined up against a wall in Czechoslovakia, and this included at least one woman. They were then executed by the wall, as shots rang out, and each person then fell forward and slumped over a low embankment. There were some who were injured and were lying on the ground asking for mercy, but there was shown none. Czechoslovakia would, during the Second World War, be occupied by the German army, as Hitler sought to conquer more land for his empire, and he wanted to move Germans into the lands to the east. But the country would see a huge number of people deported to concentration camps, and in Czech cities there were hundreds who were executed in front of many people. The Czechs were terrorised into submission to work, and ultimately be profitable for the German war effort, as Hitler would use factories for his war industry. But what is the story of those Germans who were shot at the end of the Second World War, days after the war had come to an end in Europe? As always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Following the Munich Agreement, Adolf Hitler annexed the Sudetenland part of Czechoslovakia into his empire, and this weakened the country as a whole, and they would lose a lot of their border fortifications. But following this, the rest of Czechoslovakia was left weak, and on the 15th of March 1939, Nazi Germany invaded and occupied the Czech provinces of Bohemia and Moravia. These were annexed into the Third Reich, and a Reich protector would be placed in charge of these lands, and eventually the butcher of Prague, Reinhard Heydrich, would take this position. Czechoslovakia was considered the arsenal of the Reich, and they had many different armament factories that would create weapons and ammunition for the German army. Also, they would seize control of the tank factories, and they would then use these resources to build up the army. It's believed that the Germans gained over 2,000 field cannons, almost 500 tanks, and 500 pieces of anti-aircraft artillery. They also gained 43,000 machine guns, over a million rifles, and over 110,000 pistols. They also took billions of rounds of ammunition, and the weaponry would be enough to arm half of the Wehrmacht. To do this and to keep the Czech population in line, there was a reign of terror established over their lands. Some people joined resistance groups such as the Partisans, and they would be dealt with brutally, and the Nazis would also impose their policies onto the people. There were signs showing which shops were Aryan, and swastikas would hang high from the buildings, and SS guards would patrol the streets. German officers and army soldiers were also seen, and things became brutal. During 1941, there were over 90,000 Jews living in Bohemia and Moravia, and only around 14,000 survived the war. Jews were forced to wear stars, and the Germans destroyed sites associated with them, but they also stole property from them. Then deportations happened to different concentration camps and extermination centres, and dozens of thousands were executed and were slaughtered. Many were gassed inside of concentration camps, and others managed to flee for their own safety. The Czechs would walk down the streets each day and see executed people hanging from lampposts, and torture was also used. Following the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich, a number of villages were liquidated and were razed to the ground, with all the civilian population being killed or sent to concentration camps. Women and children were not spared, but at the end of the Second World War, they would forcibly expel thousands of German people who were moved into their lands and homes during the occupation. Following the defeat of the Nazis, the Czechs and Soviet Red Army expelled around 3 million ethnic Germans from the Sudetenland and the rest of Czechoslovakia. In this movement, around 30,000 people were slaughtered due to acts of revenge. The Czechs had suffered heavily and they had lived in constant fear, but only a small number of these Germans who were killed were actual Nazi war criminals. However, they would conduct a number of brutal reprisals. But the executions in question took place on the 10th of May 1945, and it involved German civilians and people, and this took place in the Prague district of Borislavka. Two days before, VE Day had taken place following the German surrender, but there was a lot of confusion inside of the Czech lands. Germans were rounded up into a nearby movie theatre named the Borislavka, and these Germans had been caught in groups, and they were driven out of their homes by the Red Army soldiers and also Czech militiamen. In this area, there were around 40 men, and at least one woman, who were then taken to the side of the street. Opposite these men and women, were stood many executioners armed with their guns and weapons. The men then fired and shots rang out, 
and one after the other, a person was executed. They then fell slumped forward over an embankment. There was no mercy offered for the German people, as those who were not instantly executed were left shouting and screaming for mercy. But then a Red Army truck rolled up, and the vehicle was driven over the dying and wounded, killing them. But the executions continued, as later more Germans were seen around the area, and they were forced to dig a mass grave inside of a meadow when they were then executed. This was at the end of the Second World War, the systematic killing of German civilians in reprisal for the suffering of what had gone before. It was an eye for an eye. Images captured the executions, and they were also captured on video footage. More incidents of slaughtering Germans would take place, as many were forced to lie on the ground in prison in early May 1945, and they were then executed. The Germans of Boris Slavka, who were executed, remain rather nameless to this day. It's not known for certain exactly who they were, and no one knows in particular the names of the people who carried out the execution. It's not known what crimes these executed people were accused of, but it's most probable that they were killed by Red Army soldiers, but also by revolutionary guards and members of the Czech militia. The shots may have been shot by former Czech collaborators, who had even worked with the Germans, but to clear their names and show loyalty to the new order, they shot Germans. Interestingly, the footage of the executions of the Germans of Boris Slavka was kept hidden for many decades. Communist police would come searching for the footage, and the man who captured it was threatened by the police as they wanted it destroying, but this was never handed over to the authorities. The cameraman wanted one day for the world to learn what had been done to the defenceless people two days after the war had come to an end in Europe. It was believed that there would have been backlash for this, but there are now people who are calling for a search for the remains of those Germans who were executed. It's believed that they are currently buried in the meadows nearby. But the executions and the slaughter as mentioned would continue. Sudeten Germans were conscripted into forced labour to rebuild parts of the country which had been damaged, and plans were drawn up for the expulsion of the Germans. It's believed that between 700,000 and 800,000 Germans were affected by what was known as wild expulsion in the months after the war had come to an end, and these were usually carried out by armed volunteers along with members of the military. There were other massacres, as between the 18th and 19th of June 1945, 265 Germans were taken out of a train, and they were forced to dig their own graves when they were shot. Germans who were forced to leave Brno for Austria were also victims, as there were at least 800 deaths. The Czech government would at the time consider this popular justice, and these crimes were not entirely well reported around the world. But on the 10th of May 1945, inside of the Prague district of Borislavka, there were around 40 people who were rounded up, and then forced up against a wall for their execution. These were men and at least also one woman, who had not necessarily committed many crimes, but they had been living inside of the lands where the Czech people were suffering. The fact these people were just German was enough for those men who executed them, and they became victims of executioners, who were just as ruthless as the Nazis were. There was a significant amount of reprisal carried out, because of the actions of the Nazis and the Germans during the Second World War, and these Germans who were slaughtered in Borislavka were said to have been in the way. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.